Hi guys, so in this video, we're gonna be showing how we replant our Venus flytraps into bigger pots. So stay tuned. In this video, we're gonna be doing Venus. We're gonna be repotting our Venus flytraps. And right now, me and my daughters are getting the peat moss together because they come out, it's clumped up and so dry. So we had to put some distilled water in here because Venus flytraps can't take any other water except for re reverse osmosis and distilled water. So now we're just getting all the clumps out and we're gonna put perlite in here next. Okay, next we're gonna put perlite because we're gonna put 50% 50, 50 um, peat moss and 50% perlite. Come on. I'm gonna hold my breath and get the fur light in my face. Oh my, oh my nostrils! <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Bye. And now you're gonna just try to mix it in. Y'all should bring in my, my fan. <coughs> so yeah, so now what we're doing. As, I knew what they're coughing and not even on it. As we're coughing <coughs> from the perlite backdraft or whatever. Now we're just mixing it in. <laughs> we're mixing in the perlite and the, so the peat moss. Oh my god. I think I probably got more than I need <coughs> of peat moss. <laughs> But we'll see. More than you need of perlite. Nothing. Um, Sorry. Mess here. I'll, I'll clean it up. <coughs> Gosh. Rip the headphone users. Yeah, rip the headphone user when my cat would Okay. And then <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill some holes in these. I got this for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. You, and you get three pots. You basically get three pots. <coughs> and so we're going to put holes all over this in one second after we finish mixing up. This is my new money. Because I don't have mm -hmm. it. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> What is that? 
and I'm going to stick my hand in there and just make a little hole like that. Oh, that's dirt. I know I can zoom in. I can zoom in. <coughs> <clears throat> Did he get those all the way through? <coughs> Sorry. Step forward one more. What has a flower? So, I'm just going to take it out. <clears throat> <laughs> What'd you say, sir? So here's the roots down here. And this thing is good and wet. dead one although I think I got a live one in it some of the little turn that light on yeah sure, sure. turn that other light on so you can see it. you can see a little bit better turn the light which one's up here it's the other light switch and then those you see So these are like dead. So I'm just gonna pull them out. You don't wanna mess with it too, too much and have it. You wanna already close his mouth. Get all stressed out. But this is what it looks like with the roots. Okay. And I'm not going to pick at it anymore. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick it straight in here like that. probably put it in the middle a little bit more hey. Hey. and then we're gonna sit it in a tray of water and it's gonna soak up the water from the tray 
Give me another one. So in this one, I just noticed that it has a different kind of moss on it. So I just wanted to show you what that's gonna look like. Looks totally different. It's not even as easy to come out as the other one. See, this is a little different. I don't, I don't know what kind of moss this is, but let's see. You gotta be really careful with the roots because the roots tie into this a lot more. The roots are black, so you can kind of see them. Trying to be as careful as I can. Hope I don't kill it. Okay, so that's the beginning of the plant. doesn't like look like it wants to let go so I'm not gonna stress it out anymore and I'm gonna just <clears throat> do like I did with the rest at the roots get some lamb in there too hard but enough okay that's it so these this is the finished product of all my Venus fly traps repotted and you basically don't do anything but put the distilled water in the bottom and let them absorb water we're gonna put a little bit on the top so that they can since we just repotted them and it's, it's moist but it's not like really really wet yet and you don't want to really make it wet but just because I replanted them and then for fertilizer they basically I don't know if you can see this one can you see that one sucking oh you can you see the silhouette of the fly inside of it can you see the fly inside of it this one caught a fly already so when it catches bugs and flies that's its way of fertilizing and getting the nutrients that it needs other than that it needs the nutrients from the sun but we're in vegas and it's so hot if i put them out in that 100 degree weather they would die so i have them under 
the artificial sunlight. Were you able to show how this one has a fly in the strap already? Yeah. You can see it? Okay. And that's it. Thank you for watching and please subscribe, like, comment. If you have any questions, let me know and have a good one.